Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Preeti Salve from KLE College of Pharmacy, Belgavi, and today we shall discuss the principle that is involved in techniques of nephelometry and turbidimetry. By the end of the topic, the learners will be able to know what is the scattering of light and the basic principle behind nephelometry as well as turbidimetry. So both of these techniques are closely related to colorimetry, wherein they are based on the scattering of light that is usually carried out by non-transparent particles which are suspended in a given solution. The only difference between both of these techniques is the way in which the measurement of the scattered radiation is carried out. A very good example of scattering of light is usually the sunset wherein we can see the blue sky and different shades of yellow, orange and red for the color of the sun. So this is nothing but the scattering of light which is the scattering of the sunlight by various dust particles that are present in the atmosphere or various moisture that is water molecules and different other gases that are present in the atmosphere. Also the efficiency with which the light is scattered depends on its wavelength. So the sky usually appears blue because violet and blue light are scattered to a much greater extent than the other longer wavelengths. Coming to the principle of both of these techniques of nephelometry and turbidimetry, so we know that whenever light is allowed to pass through a suspension, a part of the incident radiant energy will be dissipated by absorption, reflection and refraction, whereas the remainder amount of radiation will be transmitted by the given sample. So turbidity will involve the measurement of the intensity of the transmitted light as a function of the concentration of the suspended particles. So here you can see the light source emits a particular radiation which will be absorbed by the sample, part of it will be transmitted. So whatever light is being transmitted will be detected by this particular detector that is placed at the end. In nephelometry, the measurement of the intensity of scattered light as a function of the concentration of the suspended particles is done. So here you can see the light source emits radiation which is absorbed, transmitted, refracted by the particular sample and then whatever light has been scattered by this particular sample will be measured by the detector. So you can see the difference that is present in both of these techniques wherein the detector can be seen to be placed at the end in case of turbidimetry that is at an angle of 180 degrees whereas in nephelometry it is placed at an angle of 90 degrees. So this is the basic difference in the measurements of both of these techniques. The turbidometric measurements are made at 180 degrees from the incident light beam which is what you can see in this particular diagram. Whatever light is being transmitted by the sample will be measured at an angle of 180 degrees in case of a turbidimeter and in nephelometry you can see that the position of the detector that is the photo tube is placed exactly at right angle or 90 degrees to the particular sample holder. So whatever light is being scattered will be measured by this particular nephelometer. So this is the basic difference between both of these techniques. Turbidimetry will measure transmitted light at 180 degrees and nephelometry will measure the scattered light at 90 degrees. Thank you.